How's it going guys? It's Country Tactical here, back with another unboxing. I know, it's been a long time since the last one. Now that is because I just haven't really had anything to unbox, but this unboxing should be pretty good. We got a ton of stuff. It should be the entire German kit. Y'all probably saw it on the I Wore My German Uniform video school. It's probably already up. So yeah, hopefully y'all saw that. If not, go ahead and check it out. It's on my channel. Also, I dislocated my sh right shoulder in football, so I'm not going to be able to use it very well in this video. It was just like last week that I dislocated it. So yeah, it kind of sucks. Hopefully I don't need surgery or anything like that. So yeah, without further ado, let's go ahead and get the first box. Alrighty, here is the first box. As you can see, it is quite small. I don't know what's in this. I assume it's like a belt buckle because it weighs like nothing. But I got my trusty bolo knife and we're gonna have to just cut into it. I can't really like lift the right shoulder very much without it dislocating again, so I have to be very careful about that. All right. Okay, and here it is. It's exactly what I thought it was, a German belt buckle. Okay, so that's pretty cool. As you can see, it's very cool looking, very good conditioning. Condition. I hate conditioning. This is original German. It's over a hundred years old, so that's it's pretty cool. Here's the next package. As you can see, it's a little bit bigger and should have something a bit more cooler in it. It's not like the belt buckle was any less cool, but you know, it's got more size to it. So we'll just see what's inside. All right, now this should be a lot easier to use. Hmm, what could this be? Here it is, canteen. So this is an original World War One. German. God, strong scent to it. It says like Summerfield 1915 on it. Summerfield. That's so weird. I don't know if I'm gonna drink out of this. It's kind of, kind of sketch. All right, up next, get in even bigger. <clears throat> we got this next package. I wonder what this is. Seems to be a World War One German pony for cornerstone backpack. This thing is ancient. It's actually surprisingly supple for its age. Now, if you look right here, it says 1916. Hopefully, y'all can see that. All right, on to the next and even bigger package. And it is from Hessen Antique, not sponsored. Hmm. We got several items. They all just fell out. First up, we got two ammo pouches, which will go with the Tornister. Here's one of them. Decent quality, nice leather. Smells freshly tanned. We have a belt, a shovel holder, and we got a canteen cover. Since that old original canteen did not have its cover, I went ahead and got this. Looks like it's gonna work. This is wool, by the way, it feels really nice. Well, I'd say it fits for the most part. I just gotta break it in and loosen up the fiber.
a blast. But not the least, this huge package. This should have like almost everything to complete the entire German kit. So <laughs> let's try to unbox it. And I'm gonna have to use Big Daddy Bolo knife on it just because it's such a large package. So I've been, I've been waiting for a while to unbox this huge box. So I dislocated my shoulder the weekend I was supposed to. Yeah, now I can finally freaking open it. Now I need to sharpen my bolo knife really bad. Gee. Okay, what is inside? Here is the tunic. Oh, these are the pants. This isn't the tunic. So this is one thing I do dislike about the uniform. They took 100% wool and turned it into 80% wool by putting polyester, poly made in it. I don't know why they did that, but it kind of takes away the cool factor. Also, it says it's made in China. Honestly, I would prefer to buy from Man the Lion, but they just don't ship fast enough. I mean, their products are good. They have 100% wool, 100% cotton and everything. It's just, you know, it's they don't ship quick enough. But these, these guys ship like right on time. Anyway, this is a really neat piece. And next up is the actual tunic itself. Yeah, it looks really neat. We'll just see it when I actually put it on, see how it looks then. <gasps> it's one of my favorite German items, the pickle haba. Hope this is really good. Now this was more expensive than stuff on Amazon, but this looked the most correct. So let's just hope it's really good. Ah, oh, that smells so nice. This is really good smelling. Brings me back to my early days of World War One collecting stuff. I remember the smell that reminds me of World War One stuff is leather and brass. I don't know why. That just reminds me the most. And you know, this is awesome. I really like this pickle lava. Those are really nice for production. Up next, we have what I believe is the stall helm. As you can see, you got the horns on it. Here it is. Pretty quick to unbox, but yeah, it looks looks like it was just glued on there. The horns does not look like it holds anything. That's just decoration. Oh, oh my gosh, I forgot I got these. Wait, before we unbox this, let me just get the rest of this stuff inside this box. Right here is canteen straps to you hold the canteen. I don't really know how this works. And here are some wool gloves for my German impression. And right here are some foot wraps. Hessen Antiques uniform versus Mandy Lines. As you can see, Hessen Antique has quality control issues. So now, for my most sought after item ever. I've always loved what's in here. Ever since I've like gotten into World War One, these were some of the coolest items to me. They're jack boots, by the way. I've always just thought they're really cool. I was always jealous that the Germans wore them, not like the US or the British. Also, I'm from Texas. I'm a big fan of cowboy boots and just the way they just slip right on and you're good to go through decent depths of shrubbery. So yeah, I've always been a huge fan of jack boots. I've always thought they were so cool. Also, a quick fact, the reason a lot of the British had trench foot and not the Germans is because British boots had laces and putties and those were difficult to put on and off. It just took a long time, but jack boots like these, you can just slip them right on, slip them right off, get all the water out, put new foot wraps on. It's really nice. Oh, glorious jack boots. 
Oh my gosh. What? Okay, I don't really like the nylon straps right here. I'm sure if Man the Lion made these, which I do, I bet they just have leather. I'm, I mean, I honestly hate when they put plastic onto stuff that's supposed to be old times. But yeah, these, pretty cool, pretty cool. A little bit let down by the plastic straps, nylon straps. I hate nylon. So that's just about everything to unbox, and I guess let's go ahead and just put all the stuff on and see how it fits. Ah! Ah! Fuck you, Kraut. Ah! This is American's toy.